With the release date of Mortal Kombat 1 right around the corner, I want to make a video talking about characters I want to main as soon as the game comes out. Now don't get me wrong, I have not seen every single trailer for every single character because I'm trying not to spoil myself because as soon as the game comes out, I want to make a fatality reaction video to every single fatality and do like a tier list there and kind of react to it for the first time so I'm trying not to spoil myself unless you're in the beta and the stress test or I've seen it on Twitter or on TikTok, I've been spoiled. So I haven't seen every single trailer, I have seen enough but I already know what characters I want to main as soon as Mortal Kombat comes out. So let's get on with the videos. Hope you guys enjoy this tier list. If you guys want to see more tier lists for Mortal Kombat, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications, baby. If not, your mom's ugly. Let's begin. Starting off, we got Big Titty, Mommy Milker, Sendel, and Sendel is going to go to the A tier. Even though I have not seen any gameplay for Sendel, and I know these are the last two characters, which is Sendel and Shao Kahn, Sendel in every Mortal Kombat game has been always fun and always so good looking to look at, man. I don't care what you guys say, Sendel is going to be either really high tier just because every single game in Mortal Kombat, I have never seen Sendel be low tier. So I'm already excited for Sendel, and come on, man. Sendel's out here looking like a whole snack. Rain. I'm hoping this is Rain. I mean, I know a lot of people are excited for Rain, but I have seen enough Rain players on Mortal Kombat 11. I don't want to see any Rain players on fucking Mortal Kombat 1. We already know Rain is going to be a popular character, and if you guys have followed the channel, you guys already know I'm not a big, you know, fan when it comes to popular characters. If the character is played a lot, I'm not going to play the character. I'm telling you. I like playing low tiers. I like playing characters that a lot of people do not see. And I know I'm just weird like that. But Rain is going to go to the B tier just because. Come on, man. It's Rain. We already know people are going to be playing this character. Next up, we got Raiden. Raiden is in every fucking Mortal Kombat game. Is it a bad thing? No. I understand he's a core, like, character for Mortal Kombat. But I'm tired of seeing Raiden in every single Mortal Kombat. I do like his design, that he's more younger, more like just clean cut. But I have never been excited for any, like any game where I see Raiden, I have never been excited. There's always so much more popular characters. Raiden is one of those characters where you played every single character. You're like, you know what? Let me learn how to play Raiden. If there's any Raiden mains out there right now watching this video, put down hashtag I am a Raiden main to see how many Raiden mains there really is. Because I'm telling you right now, there's no way you're going to turn on Mortal Kombat and be like, you know what? I'm going to be playing Raiden. Because no, bro. No, no way. Melina. Bro, Melina is going into B tier. Listen, listen. I'm not going to say anything bad about ya queen, all right? I know how you guys get down, all right? If I say anything bad about Melina, you guys are most likely going to murder me. I remember when Mortal Kombat 11 was coming out and we didn't have Melina. People were literally death threatening the creators of Mortal Kombat to put Melina into the game. You Melina fans are some psychopaths. I'm not touching Melina. I'm sorry. I'm going to put her in B tier just because Melina's a cool character. But I'm not saying anything bad about it. I swear to God. Listen, let me be. Let me be. She's going to B tier. Kung Lao, the only person that fights with a fucking hat. I have never seen anyone in any franchise fight with a goddamn hat and he's going right next to Raiden. Again, it's another character where I feel like I'm getting tired of seeing him in every Mortal Kombat, but I get it. It's Kung Lao. Kung Lao, I do like him way more than Raiden just because in every Mortal Kombat game, Kung Lao is always the most brutal character, like punching you in the face a thousand times, doing disgusting t combos, zoning potential, air attacks. Like, Kung Lao is cool, but come on, man. Like, I'm not turning on my Mortal Kombat to play Kung Lao, bro. I know some Kung Lao mains out there, but that's just not me. Kensei, I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. If I'm not, you guys can roast me in the comments. I'm putting him in D tier. He's been in the stress test. He's been in the beta. And this character is way too difficult to play. Way too difficult. Pro players like Sonic Fox are making him look so easy. But I, do, I just don't understand how his clone works. I, it's super hard and super difficult. This character can easily get a 70% combo without any assist. So imagine when you have assist, imagine when people have like a muff in with this game. I think Kensei is going to be S to A tier. No matter what you say, the character gets way too much damage. If you know how to play this character, this character is going to be a fucking plus or trap monster. And I'm already seeing Sonic Fox playing, and I'm already fucking scared. I'm never going to pick the character, not because the character is just so difficult. Like, I understand. If I put more time into it, I'll probably understand. But there's just, 
too much. There's just too much to think about with this character. Honestly, he's been in stress test. He's been in the beta. And I have this thing where if I play the character before, as soon as the game comes out, I'm not going to play the character again. Like, I got new characters to play. Why the fuck would I play Kensei when I already played him so many times? But I'm not picking this character. This character goes to D tier. You know how I was talking all that shit a second ago about characters that were in the beta and I'm not going to be picking them? Johnny Cage just broke that completely. Like, Johnny Cage... Mortal Kombat has always been known for making every single character really unique in their own way. Johnny Cage has always been unique in every Mortal Kombat, but they changed them completely and it fucking works. The teabagging, the trolling, it's just so goddamn good. I'm going to be playing this character just because of the teabagging, the announce, the, the audience cheering for you. This is 100%, even though I have not touched like the game fully, the game, not. I have not tried every single character. Johnny Cage has one of the best personalities in this game. If Like, I'm telling you, bro. Johnny Cage, I'm just going to be playing it for the fun of it. Literally for the fun of it. He goes to A tier. Katana goes to D tier. Never been interesting in playing Katana. Like, why would I play Katana when Melina's in the goddamn game? That's pretty simple. Yeah, she's a baddie, but come on, man. Melina, have you seen that tongue with Melina? She's way more of a baddie. She'll give you that guac guac 3000. Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Again, I'm weird. I hate playing MCs like Street Fighter. I don't like playing Ryu or Ken. And Scorpion and Sub-Zero are the exact same thing. To me, I'll put Scorpion in B tier just because I haven't tried the character out. And in my opinion, Scorpion is way cooler than Sub-Zero. But I'll put Sub-Zero in C tier and I'll put Scorpion in B tier. Most likely, I'm not going to be touching these characters, but I'm ready for rank to see all y'all Scorpion mains. I'm ready for it. The same thing in every Mortal Kombat game. There's always like 300 million fucking Scorpions for no reason, and they're acting like there's no other characters. Bro, you guys can hate me all you want, but y'all Luke King mains need to stop, bro. Like, y'all really be ruining the game for me, man. Like, y'all bicycle kicks, zoning ass players, bro. Again, Luke King is like the main character of Mortal Kombat, so this is another character I do not want to touch, especially since he's been in the stress test and the beta. I'm tired of seeing Luke King already, bro. I'm tired of it, bro. And it's, I've only touched the game for like maybe six days. Like, the stress test and the beta, I'm tired of it, bro. Get me out of here, please. Now, we're getting into territory where I don't know this certain character. Haven't seen any gameplay of it. So, I'm going to put her right into D tier just because I don't know what she does. In my personal opinion, just the way she looks, she looks kind of basic, kind of okay. Doesn't really catch my eye. She's going into D tier. But, I haven't seen any gameplay of her, so she can go skyrocket up to C to B tier. Havoc. Oh my god, bro. Like, listen, I want to play this character so bad. So bad. And I'm still going to. He's going to S tier. But I already know if I make any content with this character, the whole video is going to be demonetized. Havoc, every single... Yes, I have been kind of leaked. All right? I have seen it. As soon as Havoc was announced... It was all over social media. Havoc is just going to be one of the most brutal characters. This man literally fights you with his own arm. This man is literally bleeding all over the screen. If I play this character, the whole video is going to be black or white or the whole video is going to be demonetized. Havoc, I'm going to play you, but I definitely cannot play you on YouTube. I bet you 100%. This is the fucking character where I was so shocked to find out that it actually brought back Gearus. Now, I know a lot of people hated Gearus in Mortal Kombat 11. I enjoyed Gearus so much. I love his character design. I love everything about Gearus. So I'm so happy they brought him back into the game. I was a big Gearus main in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm definitely playing this character, man. I know a lot of y'all hate Gearus, but I am a Gearus main, okay? I go with my bald men, bro. Gearus... I'm playing you. First day, you're going to be one of my mains. I don't care. I don't care if there's a thousand Gears mains. I mean, actually, if there's a thousand to a million Gears mains, and I find them in every match, I might be switching. But Gears is 100%. As soon as I turn on the Mortal Kombat game, I'm going to be playing Gears, bro. I'm going to be united with my bald-headed ass man, bro. Another character where I don't know anything about, doesn't really catch my eye. She's going into D tier. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to God this is not Tanya from Mortal Kombat X. Because if it is, what happened? Reptile. <laughs> Reptile up there with Johnny Cage. I don't know what they, I don't know what they were smoking. I don't know if they were doing some crack. But Reptile's design, one of the coldest in the game. 
the way he fights again another character i was spoiled the way this character fights with going half reptile half human is one of the best designs in all of mortal kombat like again i've not seen every single character but <clears throat> i can't think of any other character in this game having the same design as reptile they went stupid on reptile's design and i am so happy the way it came out that reptile is definitely going to be an s tier bro you know what's funny i need to yo chat or just people who are watching this video do people actually want baraka in every mortal kombat game bro like why this is a character where i'm like why like i understand raiden i understand kung lao scorpion Zub zero they all make sense but who in their right mind wants baraka in every game i understand baraka is a disgusting human being but why is baraka in every game this man is a side character bro he's in every fucking game i have never seen someone be like i hope baraka's in mortal kombat like no bro stop giving me baraka like please like i'll put him into c because Barack is kind of, you know, disgusting and kind of brutal. But come on, man. I'm tired of seeing this goddamn character. Next up, we got Lee Mei. Lee Mei, I'll put her into, like, C. She isn't... Actually, I'm putting her to D. Like, all the way to D. Like, Lee Mei, I, I understand. She was fun to watch. I do like the setup that she has. But, like, nothing about Lee Mei was really catching my eye. She seemed like a more... What's um Jax's wife's... Not Jax's wife. Whoa. Jax's daughter's name. Jackie? She reminds me of Jackie, but just more colorful and with fucking purple magic with tigers. Like, literally purple magic with tigers. Lee Mei, the setups were cool, but I'm putting her in D tier. Another character that was in the beta, most likely I'm not going to touch her. Last but not least, we have Smoke and we have Shao Kahn. Smoke, most likely going to be putting him into B tier. Honestly, think this is probably one of Smoke's not best designs. I think Smoke has better designs in other Mortal Kombat games. Like, Rain, it did him justice. This man's out here looking like a whole Muslim prince that I want to suck on. But, Rain, he kind of just looks alright. He look, kind of looks like just a generic old man with a knife who has, you know, martial arts experience. Shao Kahn is going into S tier. I'm hoping they make Shao Kahn S tier in this game. I'm tired of Shao Kahn being low. Like, seriously, guys. Like, what is happening here? Throughout all of Mortal Kombat 11, they never decided to update or even give Shao Kahn some moves where he becomes a high-tier character. This man, Shao Kahn, was below barrel low tier throughout Mortal Kombat 11 that I'm hoping that Shao Kahn is S tier to high tier when Mortal Kombat 1 is released. But you guys can tell me in the comments, what do you guys think about my Mortal Kombat 1 characters that i'm gonna be playing when the game first come out are you guys gonna be playing reptile havoc gears and shao khan as as well when the game comes out or are you guys gonna be playing like fucking lee and may or baraka you fucking weirdos but again thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to see more mortal kombat content in the future make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn notifications and i'll see you guys later with some more mortal kombat content baby peace baby Mwah.